I'm Dick Flavin. I am the author of Red Sox Rhymes, and here's why you need this book for your collection. It tells you about present-day Red Sox. It tells you about old-time Red Sox. It tells you about Fenway Park. It tells you about the history. It tells you about the victories. It tells you about the defeats. It tells you everything you wanted to know about the Red Sox, and it does it all in rhyme. Since grammar school, when I discovered a poem called Casey at the Bat, I have loved that kind of poetry that's more to be said than read. I have had the time of my life in doing it, and uh, I hope to continue doing it uh, for the rest of my time in life. Here is an example of what you're going to find at Red Sox Rhymes. More than a hundred years she stood there, her cheering, seen our tears, through all the good times and the bad. Fenway perseveres. She's baseball's great crown jewel, a treasure, this is why. Look out there on that field, you'll see the ghosts of games gone by. There's Babe Ruth standing on the mound, Ted Williams at the plate. Someone's great-grandfather just came in through the gate. That's Yaz patrolling in left field and center Freddie Lynn. Cronin's playing shortstop, but Pesky's coming in. Louis Tiant whirls and spins, and then he lets it go. And there's another leaping catch by Dom DiMaggio. Jim Rice lines one off the wall. Malzone comes in to score. Pedroia makes a diving stop. Or is that Bobby Dorr? Fisk hits one deep into the night. Will it be foul or fair? It caroms off that foul pole, and the cheers still fill the air. Dewey Evans, rifle arm, just cut a runner down. There's Tony C., still young and strong, the toast of his hometown. Robert steals another base, pinch running for Millar. There's Lomborg, Raddatz, Jimmy Fox, and Pedro, and Nomar. Look closely. You can see them all. They come here every day. Fenway was and is their home. It's where her ghosts still play. And in the dugout by first base, there sits the current squad. Someday they will take their place with all the Fenway gods. That's why that place is magic, why she's made such a mark. She's a hundred plus and going strong. And long live Fenway Park. <laughs>